Can you banish these guys? I'd assume no, right? Oh, you can. I like to stand over their shoulders as the artists work their Oh business. boy. It's my job to catch the little things that make our cartoons really extra. Boy, I'd love it if my boss did that, stood over my shoulder and watched my every move. Man, I would love to work here. That'd be the dream. Joey Drew, man. Sounds like one inspiring boss. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. He's always hanging around. <laughs> I knew they were going to make a joke like that soon. I already ruined it for them. Wasn't she warned about leaving the devils alone? Hello? Well, look at you, little fella. Audrey doesn't seem very smart. It's okay. I won't Give him a hug. I promise. It's okay. See? I'm your friend. I won't hurt you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that would happen. I promise. I'm so, so sorry. Wilson. And blame that old fart that fucked you and put you down here. Boom. Get fucked. Son of a bitch. I'm scared. Fuck yeah. It's <laughs> funny. I'm a baby back bitch. I'm scared. What's this? <laughs> oh, it's a memory, okay. I was like, what? What the fuck? What are you doing petting a duck while you're about to get eaten by the ink monster? Okay. It's a bold choice of life choices there. Well, hello, sir. How are you? Oh, God, run to the hills. Fuck. <laughs> you little bastard. You just are like, eh, fuck you, even though you put up my, uh, my art for me, I'm just gonna try and kill you anyways. See, that is number one rule in life. You always have to remember, don't do anything for anyone, because they'll never be thankful for it anyways. So, I'm handing out life lessons here. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know where to hide. I'm dead. I'm for sure dead. Yep. <laughs> I'm tired. Archgate Pictures is open. 
Fuck, what is this? Was this the fourth? The flawed design? Yikes. It's a little creepy, I gotta say. Yeah, it'll fit right in with the rest of the game. No harm, no foul. Oh god! <laughs> Holy fuck. Fucking game got me. Oh, security lock. Oh my god! <laughs> you fucking assholes. What am I... Uh, okay. Do I hide? Do I just... Continue to get uh, jump scared into oblivion. Stupid bitch. Oh, hello there. Are you looking for the way? Out? Yes, yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna banish you to the Shadow Realm. Bye bye. Here's a little gift. Something I've learned. You giving me magic powers now? Adios, thank you. I feel like I already am dead. That was weird. So I can phase shift through or over obstacles. Use your power to flow quickly and undetected over a short distance. Flow is also handy for navigating to areas that are hard to reach. Right mouse to flow. Interesting. And there's a cooldown on it, it looks like. Oh, well, this is schematic. Okay. I didn't even see it there in the first- well, I did see it there, but I was like, I, I can't grab this, so, I don't know. Gimp pipe is charged, you can spend its power on opening gun doors around the studio. What's behind them? Only the bravest will seek them out for their rewards. Well, I'm brave. I'm going to try and get all the rewards. Oh god. I don't have a hiding spot. I'm fucked. I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Okay, I'm dead. 
Yep, there it is. Oh, you can. Okay. Well, now you have to have it fully charged. So where do you fully charge it at? Is there, is there a map on here that I'm missing? So you can see it lit up on the side when it's fully charged. Okay. Boys, we are learning. We are learning. This is a new game, and we're learning as we go. No guides, no help, no nothing here, so. Thank you. Well, this was a... Fun little game that we've stumbled across here. Um, very much a clone of Bioshock as far as like the assets are concerned, but uh, different style of gameplay. It's more based on stealth and hiding, and um, it, you don't have like the powers that you get in Bioshock. You basically you have specific powers like the the jump across, like the flow thing, um, and it's not like uh, you're shooting out lightning or fire or anything like that, but it's like world manipulation, more or less. So, um, but no, it's cool. It's I think it's a fun game, and I really like the art style. Um, slow burn at first, but we're getting there. We're getting there into the action. I will say the enemies are a bit repetitive. Um, that's one thing that's a little bit of a downside so far. Um, and... The story, it's a little a little muddled, but we'll get there eventually, I think. But anyhow, uh, this has been a good game so far, and we'll get back to it and continue this series on it. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to continue it or not. When You know, whenever you play a new game, you start off and you're just like, well, well, we'll see how this goes, and if it's good, we'll keep it going, and if not, if, it, if there's no entertainment value there, then I don't think we'll continue, but there definitely is, and got me a few jump scares along the way, so, but we'll, uh, we'll continue to pick this up here in the future, so, um, hope you guys enjoy, leave a comment below if you are enjoying this series, and let me know, uh, any ideas for other future games that I can go and continue playing as part of the hidden gem series thanks for watching guys have a good one we'll see ya